GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand. Purinda Vilay, Nirinda Tara, Tangal TV Kalanitum, Ure Edatul, Jay Chandran. Hello and welcome to Galata Plus. In this video review episode, we are going to be talking about S. Jay Kumar's Blue Star. The film is a cricketing drama that could have used less cricket and more human drama. S. Jay Kumar makes his writing directing debut with Blue Star, presented by Paranjit. The film is about how an underdog team from Arakkonam beats an elite, white uniformed, English speaking side also upper class and upper caste, that trains at MCF Cricket Club, possibly a stand-in for MRF Pace Academy. But even within Arakonam, there is a division between the dominant and the oppressed. There is the Ur and there is the colony. In other words, the local enmity personified by Ranjit played by Ashok Selvan and Rajesh played by Shantanu Bhagiraj, that has to be set right. And the locals have to set aside their differences in order to unite against a common enemy that says that they lack the tagdi, the worthiness to even enter that well-manicured cricketing ground. The man who keeps that cricketing ground well-manicured, played by Bhagati Permal, he was once a cricketer. Now he just trims grass. There's a wealth of text and subtext in this premise set in the 1990s, even if the genre itself offers little surprise. The most intriguing character perhaps is Anandi, played by Kirti Pandian. She plays Ranjit's love interest before mysteriously vanishing from the screenplay. He gives her something which makes her happy. But then she says that the thing she really wants cannot be bought in any store. And then we see what this thing is, this thing that she desires. And it's a lovely moment of joy in this predominantly masculine universe. Some of the early Ranjit Anandi scenes benefit from the quick cutting that breaks up a scene and uses pieces of it over a breadth of screen time. We get a scene of Anandi watching Ranjit playing cricket with his team. We get a scene of Anandi and Ranjit meeting in the overbridge of a railway station. Bits from the earlier scene creep into this one. Combine this with a constantly handheld camera and you get a sense of observing a relationship unfold in real time. You get a sense of cinema. But elsewhere, you get a sense of a radio play. There is a ton of exposition about characters, about the game. People just keep on talking. After a point, it becomes exhausting in a nearly three-hour film when we are told things non-stop instead of these things being dramatized in interesting ways. And the frustrating thing is that there is so much potential for human drama. Why does Anandi suddenly stop meeting Ranjit and start writing letters to him? We know the reason, but it could have added some much needed emotion into a narrative that relies excessively on the intricacies of cricket. Lagan 2 was basically an entire game being played out on a big screen, but how beautifully each character and motivation were etched out. These individual characters, these individual as opposed to collective motivations fed into the cricket and made us feel that the match was much more than just a game. Or what about Rajesh? His arc evolves from considering Ranjit a sworn enemy to embracing him as a friend. But this plays out so weakly and so generically that we do not get the sense of a man beginning to understand and empathize with the other. I wish Lizzie Anthony's mother had had more to do than just quote Christian scripture. I wish the Bhagavati Peramal character had not been such a saint, a cross between the coach and the Buddha. He says that sport can heal hatred and we see this in a shot involving a stretcher at the end, but we don't feel the sentiment. The real big match in Blue Star between Ranjit's and Rajesh's teams gets over in the first half and it looks as though the writers struggled to subsequently find a balance of cricket and drama to lead us through the rest of the movie. All the performers are earnest, but Prithvi Rajan is the standout. He plays Ranjit's brother Sam and he gets the film's quirkiest scenes, love scenes as well as dramatic scenes. If Paranjit decides to make Atakati 2, he doesn't have to look further for his lead. And Sam's part also gives us some good writing. There's a letter that leads to a fight with his brother and that leads to a revelation about Anandi, which leads to Ranjit's loss of form in the game. Blue Star could have used more of this nuance, but the rest of the film is broad. The MCF players are portrayed like evil monsters who sneer at the Arakonam people and don't have a single decent bone in their body. And the less said about their coach, the better. The man is simply a caricaturish personification of class caste bias and not an actual human being. For how this movie could have been better, we just have to look at Paranjit Sarpata Parambara. That was also a story about a sport, about inequality, but it took us deep into its protagonist and through him, we saw the world he was a part of. Blue Star, on the other hand, has no depth. It 
equates a Hindi speaking working class man to Ranjit's outsider status, he remarks that the man must have had such huge issues that he had to leave home and find a job in a brand new state whose language he doesn't know. It's a lovely aside, but it would have been lovelier had the central characters been developed with similar asides, with similarly casual observations that revealed them to us. At one point, the members of the opposing team are revealed through animation and voiceover that resembles a PowerPoint presentation. Blue Star has good intentions, but it needed much better writing and much better filmmaking to be what it really wants to be. And that's it about Blue Star. If you like this video review, do subscribe to Galata Plus and see you soon at the movies. GT Holidays, South India's number one travel brand.